and I am Butts Golden and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time finding me, I'm so glad that you are here and I hope that you consider subscribing and clicking that little notification bell to find out whenever I have any new crafty videos that are coming out. And anyway, along the video, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below and I'll do my best to find the answers for you. And uh, if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. I do have a link list for you down below on where you can find everything that we're using in the video or as much as I can tell you and uh, or find for you. And the reason is because I'm actually using a kit through Click Kit. And um, this kit is all about equality. And I think I bought the last one though. I think I have the last one. But I'm going to link where you can find similar products down below. Um, and if you like how this kit looks, um, go over and check out Click Kit. I do have that down below as well. I am on the design team uh, and I really enjoy her stuff. I, I th think she has a great eye. Um, but for example, this kit came with several pieces of paper from the graffiti line and I've already used some of them, um, but I wanted to just share them with you too, just to kind of give you an idea of what her kit comes with and like I said I've put together a layout already and today I'm going to show you how to make a mini album with just one piece of paper using one of the pages obviously from this kit and in addition I am using this stamp set from Hero Arts it's power to the people and what's so cool about this is my two friends actually um help collaborate with this and 100% of the proceeds go to the Innocent Project or the profits go to Innocent Project. So really great. And these are the little ones that I created for uh, the, the little mini album. So they're two and a half by 2.75 inches total and the little mini album is going to be three by three. And I just thought that these would be super cute inside of the album. Um, but you could do pictures or whatever you want, but I am just in love with this set. It's so cute. And I stamped the sentiments in Catherine Puller ink, and I'll list them down below. Uh, and then I also colored in the the guys um, with, with just alcohol markers, the Tri-Blend Spectrum. So I'll, I'll uh, link those down below too. But I really love this... Um, this stamp set it's so great and there's even more sayings that you can put on it and i will have that link down below and then in addition to the kit um in this kit and again i said i don't know if she's going to carry anymore um i think this is the last one she's uh, i think if you go over and tell her you saw it on my channel you know and browse through maybe she can come up with something i know she has some digital stuff coming up for equality and things like that some digital things, but this just gives you a, a pretty good idea of um, what comes in her kits usually. And um, she always has like a sequence or shaker mix as well, which this one is this really pretty one. And then um, these are just some little felt flowers and I've already used, again, I've used some of this. That's why everything's not like, there's, it's not the full kit because I have been playing with it. And then um, these cute little paper clips. Not sure I'm going to use this on this. And then the little labels. I really love these label stickers by Freckled Farm. And then also um, the thickers by American Craft. So for this project, I'm going to use this piece of paper that is out of um, the kit. And any piece of paper will do, obviously. And I've already trimmed off the bottom, so it's a 12 by 12. And then I'm just gonna take my scoreboard off, right, like this. And I'm going to go every three inches and score a line down. So um, I'm going to just go at the three inch mark. I, I'm not sure if this is on screen for you or not. Three inch mark and uh, score that line. Then I'm going to go to the six inch and score that line. And then I'm going to go to the nine inch and score that line. Then I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. And I'm going to do the three inch again. 
And then I'm going to do the six inch like so. And then I'm going to do the nine inch. All right. Now I have all of this scored. I'm going to flip it over because this next section, I just easier to see the lines and I do need to see the lines for what I'm going to do from here. So you're going to get your paper trimmer at this point and you are just going to trim down on that line three of those squares. Then you're going to rotate it over like this and you're going to trim down three of the squares again right on that score line and then one more time opposite direction again we're going to do three squares on this. Got to line up my line. There we go. All right, and now we are left with kind of this zigzag type piece of paper. All right. Now we're just going to take this and we're going to just start to fold it over on those creases, okay? And then as you reach up, you just rotate it over like so. Back and forth accordion file like that. And then you're going to want to take your adhesive. I'm using the best glue ever. And every time I get to one of these, I just want to go ahead and fold, like adhere this like so. All right. So this one is going to go like that, this one, and then that. Do that. And that one. Like so. And then what you can do if you want is you can just start to put the pictures in like that and it just goes all the way out. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to connect these pieces so that they're a super sturdy piece. So I'm just going to go and just like connect the white pieces on the back side together. If you're using like double sided pieces. Uh, paper um, you wouldn't have to do this but for this particular project I, I kind of want to I think it's good should have a little book that opens up. So that's page one, and then that's that second page. So two, three, four, and there's like what, five little spots there. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm actually going to figure out 
how I want to decorate each of these and pop these on. Now you could use some twine to hold it together, but it is holding together quite nicely like this. So I don't think that I really have to worry about that, but I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots. So I'm going to have enough of this, enough pictures to pop these down and just make this fun little album. So I'm going to put on my images first and then I will go back through and embellish everything. But this is just kind of an easy way. And since this one is this two pager, the two pager, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just pop on some of these paper clips um, so I know. I don't know why I need to know, but maybe just to, I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of fun. So let me do this one here. And then I'm gonna take, since this one is connected, I'm gonna take this piece right here and just pop that down. So we know that one's there. Oh, I kind of like that it's on the back like that. This one, whoop, making a big mess. Right there. that one also is connected so we're gonna just do do this one over on this side so that we can kind of see it then this one So I want to do that paper clip on that one too. I don't know why I'm doing the paper clips on it. I just think that it's fun. Then boom, boom. So that worked out perfect. I had just enough images. Yay. All right. And so now once you get all of your images in and you can use pictures, you can use whatever you want. Um, it would be really great to go back through and add your embellishments. So, um, you know, it maybe if you were involved in something, you could do like some journaling pieces down or on the back, you know, back here, you could do like the date or something, the year. Um, but I'm going to go through and I'm just going to pop on some of these. I'm going to kind of alternate between my felt and my acrylic little pieces here and then also my um, sequence. So let's just, let me do an acrylic piece here. I'll do a couple sequences down here. And you know what? Um, I really should start um, at the back and work my way forward. That would be smart. So what I'm going to do next is I will turn the page 
and go from the back side on over. So I'm just gonna pop, and I'm just going to pretty much um, do like the same type deal on each page so that it matches, it's all cohesive and all that good jazz. Okay, there's that. This one, we'll do it up here. And we'll do the circle one on this one. So if this takes no time, clearly, whatsoever. Granted, I did do a little bit of prep work in the beginning on it, but not much. Okay, so there's that one. This one, I'll take that one over. And for this one, I think I'm gonna do it on that one and that one. And um, I'll do kind of like the acrylic pieces on this one. Then do that one. And again, like no rhyme, no reason on this. I'm just literally the first thing that my hand touches is what I'm popping on. So, and that, I love that look where it's not really planned, you know? I mean, like right there, there's, there we go. You know, my sequence is not necessarily planned out. All right, and then this one is next. Do the felt on that, and then this one. You could do anything in here. Like you could do a little mini album with little pictures. Um, that'd be so cute. Wouldn't that be cute for like a gift or something? And all it is is just one piece of cardstock. I mean, how much easier does it get than that? All right. <laughs> to um, stamp I just use my Misty and to color it took me about an hour and 15 minutes to get my images ready um, so I would say that you can do this little project in about two hours um, doesn't take very long and it's pretty cute it make a really cute card too so there we go. So that is just a cute little mini album that you can make. I need to let things dry in under, um, you know, two hours with stuff that you have on hand. It's so adorable. Probably should let things dry before you turn them. I'm so excited though. So my bad. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out Click Kits and then um, also make sure that you ask any questions you have down below. Um, I Again, I'm not going to edit this, like not going to cut it down because I want you to see how fast things like this can come together. I mean, this is under 20 minutes, so super cute. You could easily bust one out, you know, in an afternoon. And it's so much fun and so sweet. All right, you guys, until next time, I'm Bets Golden. Happy crafting.